I'm Miss Karen from the Stark Museum of Art. I'm a teaching artist here, and I'd like to work together today on a project where we can build our own mural together. The mural is based off of the San Geronimo Fiesta. So before we get started, I'd like to talk about who painted the original San Geronimo Fiesta, where, when, and what is this fiesta, and then we'll dive into the specifics of how we can create our very own mural. The painter of the original San Geronimo Fiesta was Leon Gaspard. He was a Russian-born artist. And you can see from the painting on the screen now that fiddlers depicted a snowy scene of a village in Russia. And this was based off of Gaspard's childhood memories. He moved to Taos, New Mexico, a town with an artist's community that borders south of the Taos Pueblo in 1918. On the map, you can see there's a star. That's where the Taos Pueblo is. The Taos Pueblo is one of the oldest continually inhabited communities in the United States. It is still used today, making this community over 1,000 years old. We've always been builders, said Gilbert Suazo, a tribal councilman and respected elder. When our people first came here, there were no other people. So we built here, and we're still very protective of our homelands. This is the painting that we are basing our mural off of. It is called San Geronimo Fiesta and painted by Leon Gaspard in 1956. Gaspard depicts Taos Pueblo on San Geronimo Feast Day in this work. San Geronimo Feast Day is on September 30th and is still celebrated annually. Gaspard emphasizes the social gatherings that are part of the event. The central figures wear feathered headdresses associated with Plains Indians, while the man in the front at right wears a hat typical of the Apache. People from many tribal nations come together at this fiesta and exchange customs and ideas. Now let's get started on making our very own San Geronimo Fiesta mural. You will get a piece of paper with just a very small part of the painting. Sometimes it's very clear what you'll be working on and sometimes it's less obvious and you're not sure what's happening. That's all right. You can get creative with it. The rule that I have for you though is to not draw on any of the lines that you see right up here. There's little sort of cut marks and the words. Those words right there are going to help your teacher later on assemble everything together into a full mural. But you can see behind me, we've got this mural right here. And you can see the lines where everything joins up together, like yours will later on. Along there, and there. Um, the thick black lines are going to tie it all together and make it look like a complete scene when it's put together. Some people are going to use a limited color palette. Over here, I've got someone who chose to use only blues. And back here, black and white. Some people add extra details, like these darker color lines that are striped in here, and this swirl down here. Some people are going to use more realistic tones and more realistic colors, like I see right over here. And some people will go more bold and some bright oranges, purples. Some are going to paint really, really light, like you see up there, making more pastel style colors. And others are going to go really, really, really dark. The colors will all come together in this rich tapestry. Use your imagination and your own style when you're putting it together. Uh, your teacher will assemble it for you, so be on the lookout for a new addition to your classroom. If you do finish early, we've also put out a coloring sheet of your own with the full San Geronimo Fiesta available for you. Enjoy! <laughs> 